Hi, welcome. I will show you how to make tape mods for Receiver 1 and how to upload them to the Steam Workshop. This is based on Kroporos instructions, who is part of the Volfire team. Couldn't have done it without it. The first step is to install Unity. 2019.4 is in the guide, but this can change. You can find out by going to Receiver, going to Manage and Browse Local Files. And in this folder you can just right-click the exe file, Receiver, and here you can see in details the version of Unity used for this. So this is 2019 4.15. Uh, generally, the first two numbers will be good enough. I already have Unity and Unity Hub installed. You can get Unity from unity.com for free. I suggest you get Unity Hub. And then install that. And so on and so on. But I already have it installed, so I'm going to skip that. Here it is. And here in the Installs tab, um, you need to get the 2019 version, which currently is 2019.4.37, which is a few sub-sub-versions higher than the uh, recommended one, but it works perfectly fine. The important thing is that when installing it, you add the modules Mac and Linux, these two. Linux build support Mono and Mac build support Mono. Otherwise, your mod will only work on Windows and, you know, vice versa if you're on Mac. The next step is to download the 70 FPS GitHub project, which is the open source project of Receiver 1. All you gotta do is press code and then download zip on the GitHub link. This download can take a while, so maybe spend the time and read some Receiver 1 manga in the meantime. 700 megabytes, it's a full CD! Okay, right click that thing, extract all, and wait for another few minutes, I guess. Alright, and here we have it. And uh, the tricky thing is that you don't open this folder, you don't open the 7D FPS master folder in Unity, but you have to open the Unity project folder, which is also the name of a project then. So I recommend you rename this to, for example, Receiver 1 Unity project. So I'm just gonna go in there, copy this path, and then in Unity Hub, in projects, I'm gonna go open, add project from disk, or I guess I can just press open. And here I can just paste the path I copied earlier, press enter. And when you see an assets with an uppercase A, very important, and packages and project settings folders in your folder, that that is a good Unity uh, project folder. So press open. Wh what? Okay, I think Unity Hub is a bit stupid here. Okay, so here is the project now. It has been added. Let's set the version 19.4, whatever version we have. Yeah, we're gonna pick this one. 19.4.37. Use the one you have. Change version, just risk it. Yes, continue. Okay, this is gonna take a while, so... Uh, go play some receiver meanwhile, I don't know, I guess. So now we are in the project, let's get going. First thing, we go into the mods folder down here, and in here we have to create a new folder. So right-click, create new folder. Well, just folder. This one we're gonna call test tapes down here. We are going to go inside of test tapes, but double clicking. To make an empty, we have to actually go over here in the hierarchy, right click, create empty. And now let's drag it over here. We're gonna rename this, rename. I guess tape underscore holder is a fine name. We're gonna add the component on the right hand side while this is selected. While tape holder is selected, we have to press add component and add the M-O-D-T-A-P-E-S holder element or script. All right, let's open up tapes and we're going to set the size here to, in my case, free, because I have in fact free audio files prepared. I highly recommend you do not use WAV because these files are huge. Look at this, this is 12.2 megabytes, while these are OGG Vorbis encoded, one megabyte. And even if I used MP3, the file size would be one megabyte, 0 0.08, so even use mp3 over WAV for your final tape files. Otherwise, these mods will be just so annoyingly huge for people to download them. Well, I'm gonna use OGG Vorbis because it's the most compact and other reasons, and I'm gonna drag them over here. Great, I can listen to them here as well. 
If you must know, I used Google Translate's read function. And if you are curious where to get the texts in different languages for Receiver 1, well, I hope you have Receiver 2, because when you go to Receiver 2, Manage Browse Local Files, you will be able to find in Receiver 2 data, streaming assets, and then locales, the different languages. For example, Korean, and then open UI strings. And here you see all the texts. For example, perpetual, yeah, perpetual set. Oh, I guess there is no Korean translation, or it's incomplete. All right, in that case, let's go to the Japanese one, which I, which I already opened uh, here. Perpetual set, here you have it in Japanese and you just need to get rid of a new line character or rather replace it with new lines all right so back to the tape holder we have three elements here let's just drag one file after the other over here done oh yeah let's see what if we just name it something else yeah we can click we can just click set name to tape holder that's nice okay now in the volfire menu we just have to export mod and we are working on test tape so we're going to use test tapes and select folder yeah i don't know why it's importing all this stuff but it's working uh i think all right that's done hardly took an hour just kidding all right let's go to wallfire and uh open mods path just so we know where it is it's over here in mod file test tapes here we can see the standard thumbnail which uh, well it's a thumbnail you can make your own thumbnail by just editing this, for example, and maybe you render something in Unity and then put it in here. I'm just gonna be lazy and uh, add a little bit of, of warning. Okay, so that's my thumbnail now. And now what we can simply do is actually start a receiver one. Press escape and options and go to uh, the uh, show mod UI thing. And here you can see the test mod. Oh, test tapes is actually called like that. All right, let's show the info. Yeah, this is what we see about. Uh, this is what the game knows about our mod. So let's disable my other tapes. To test it, we're going to load apartments. Hey, tape. Receiver no Yep, that's the audio that I added. So we kind of see that it works. Okay, so now in the mod uh, UI, you can modify the info. So let's call this test tapes Japanese TTS. Let's call it free test tapes. Just some test tapes from the Japanese translation of receiver 2 and let's call uh, give the tags tape tape tapes and TTS man I don't even know if I should write it but okay Ivan plays and sure I'm not gonna update it so it's gonna be 1.0 I'm gonna make it private for now we can still make it public on Steam and I'm gonna upload it to the workshop I'm gonna update the local metadata first I don't know if uploading it does it as well. Probably yes. All right, waiting for that. I don't know if this... Ah, oh, okay, yes. Preview file, yes, oh, and done. Okay, so now in the workshop, let's go to the workshop. We can go to most recent, which doesn't show the just uploaded files. But if you go to your workshop files, you will see it here. And uh, it's currently hidden. So I'm gonna go to change visibility and make it public. But first, I mean, you can also change the title and description here. You can add and edit images and videos, but I'm just gonna make it public just for kicks. And that would be it. All right, fellow receiver friend, if this helped you, I hope you have fun. If you're gonna record and upload one of the translations, please make sure to remove all the clicks that you record in your voice. Let me demonstrate. This is, this is just a test recording of my voice. And this over here is a click this is just a this is just is just is just this is just a this is just a there's this clicking over here in audition there's this great function um diagnostics declicker medium reduction should be good enough scan and repair all this is this is just a test recording of my voice so i really hope you have audition because i don't think audacity has anything comparable and once you have all the files recorded please test them in game and compare them to the default tapes make sure they are the same volume. And once you have an audio file which has the correct volume, you can match them also in 
addition by going to match loudness, dragging all the files here. Uh, I, I think I recommend total RMS match to file and then you have to pick which file to match it to. And then you have to set some export settings like the output folder and run it. And here are the matched ones, for example. But yeah, I mean, this is a whole science in itself. So let me know in the comments if you need any help with these. Otherwise, the Discord of Wallfire will be useful. And I hope to hear your tapes uh, in Receiver 1 soon. Until then, ciao.